Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm always showing you projects you can do to, to get rid of your fabric scraps, but I know many of you do a lot of knitting and crocheting, so I've got a project for you to get rid of that scrap yarn. These are little gnome tree decorations. So up here at the top is the scrap yarn you can use up and also for the beard. Now in here you have an option to use beads and I'll show you one other thing that you can also use right there for the gnome, for the nose. And then up here I'm just using some twine that you can use to hang it on the tree branch. So just save your little cardboard rolls that your toilet paper comes on or your paper towels. I think you can maybe get a dozen out of the paper towel roll. Then what you want to do is line it up on the grid lines and put little marks here so you know where to cut. And then just cut these down. And when you're done, they're going to look like that. You need to cut strips of yarn that are around 12 inches long. This is a six and a half inch uh, quilting ruler that I'm using. So my uh, strands of yarn are going to be a little longer, but that's okay because it's much easier to use something like this. Or you can cut a piece of cardboard out that is that six inches long. And then you just keep wrapping it around 50, 60 times. And then when you're done, just take your scissors and cut it across. Fold the yarn in half and then put your fingers in through like this and, and your thumb and you're going to reach over the top and pull it through like this. You would continue adding them on until it's all filled in. Now if you want to use two different colors you would just keep alternating them. For instance, put on the green, then the red, green, red, and so forth. Now I just run my fingers through the yarn a little bit to kind of comb it out as much as possible. Then the easiest way to do the next step is to grab all of the yarn and twist it and then push it through till it comes out to the other end and then straighten out the yarn again. When you're done, I just kind of smooth out the edges down here. So this is what it looks like after you do that. Then take another piece of yarn and I wrapped it around about two times and then just tie it in a knot. Then after that, just go ahead and trim all this off if you want. You can leave it straggly, but I kind of like it groomed a little bit more. So I just go ahead and trim some of this off. For this next step, you can either use a cotton ball or some polyfill stuffing. This is polyfill stuffing. You don't need a lot. And you just insert it up into this area right here. Now, if you have too much in there, it's going to poke out through in between your yarn. Then you want to take a large eye needle. There's, these are just little plastic ones I got off of Amazon. And stick some twine through it or some thin ribbon. Now insert the needle through the polyfill stuffing and come up through the top in the center where it's tied. Bring it up pull it through. Now make sure you don't pull both ends through. Just pull the one through and leave it up there. Now you're going to go back down again through the top and down through the center of the stuffing. Now hold on to the loop and pull the last end out. Pull both ends so that they're even with each other. And then tie these two ends together in a knot. So now your uh, little uh, twine 
holder here, loop, should look like this. And here is the knot in there. And then I'm just going to put a little dab of glue, hot glue, on the inside. Now take some uh, light colored yarn for the beard and cut them about anywhere from seven to eight inches long. Now this is a four inch wide template and I'm just using it. And I wrapped it around again anywhere from 50 to 60 times. If you don't have anything like this, just cut some cardboard out that's about this size. When you're done, just go ahead and cut it all along there. Then take another piece of yarn, the same color, and then just tie it around the center. Now fold the beard in the center so that it looks like this. Now put a lot of hot glue inside all over the place because you're gonna, this is what's gonna hold the beard in place. Once you have enough glue in there, then take the beard and insert it right there where it's folded like that. Now I'm taking my little plastic needle here and I'm just going to kind of comb through the beard a little bit because I want to give it a little bit of a haircut. Now you can trim this any shape you like. You can leave it just like this, but I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of a V and you can just play around with it. And then I'm going to go along this other side and go up the other side, trimming it. For the nose, I'm going to use this little wooden bead. You can find these in craft stores and probably at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. Uh, this is little pom-poms. These are ready-made that you can also use for the nose. So take your little bead and apply some hot glue on it. Then, after you've put hot glue on it, then push it up inside of the little cap and there you have a little tree ornament. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. These are really a lot of fun to make. This is something that your children can also help you make, or grandchildren. But please be careful when turning over a hot glue gun to a child. Make sure they're mature enough and have the motor skills to handle it. Now, if you're interested in other Christmas projects, check below your YouTube screen for those video links. You just scroll down to the description section, click on show more or the down arrow, and you will see those links beginning to appear. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.